Hey, my peeps, what's going on? Welcome back to the Quintessential Bachelor. I am T. Harris, and going on this fragrance journey together. So today I want to talk to you about a few, but this is not every, but a few of the summertime fragrances that I will be wearing, and I implore you to try these out. Now, one of these is going to be kind of difficult to find, but you can find it. Just uh, it's going to take a little bit of a search. You know, it took me a while to find it, and uh, some of the fragrances from this line that are highly desirable, they they come in and out, but they are hard, hard to find. So, without any further ado, let me go ahead and jump right on in. We're going to start off with Isimiyaki Ludis, Ludisi for Own 2005. The top didn't want to come off, did it? <laughs> Oh, God, I love this. I love this. This is a citrus aromatic and, of course, came out in 2005, being it's summer 2005. Everybody, whoever comes by and they see this, they love this one because a lot of people didn't even know anything about this one. This is summer 2005. It's almost as hard to find. It ranks right up there with Orin Sans and uh, Ambre Noir. It's difficult to find, but... You can find it. Trust and believe you can find it. You might not get a box, which I don't even think I have a box for this. Uh, you might not get a box with it, but that doesn't matter. All you care about is the juice. And this is some good stuff. It's Uzu, Cypress, Mandarin Orange, uh, Lemon Verbena, uh, Bellflower, whatever that is, Tobacco, uh, Bourbon, Geranium, uh, Nutmeg, Musk, cinnamon and coriander this makes for a great scent this is this is it, well of course exclusive because it was 2005 release and um 2021 so that tells you how old this is but it still holds still smells modern you can pull this off you can pull this off as an office scent it's definitely not formal but you know some people might try that but I guess you could wear it as formal. I wouldn't. I pretty much wear it casually. It's unseasonably cold in Texas today, in Dallas today. So, unfortunately, I won't be wearing that one today because it does not have the strength to push through the cold. But on those hot days, 65, 70, or the 80s and 90s that we have, this would be perfect. It's not clawing. It's not overly sweet. And it's masculine and it will draw people into you to wonder what that is you're wearing. So that's why I made this the first one because, yeah, it is going to be a little bit difficult to find. But if you look for it, I guarantee you, you will find it. So that being said, moving right along to the next fragrance. It's going to be this beauty right here. I like this. It is uh, Bright Neroli by Ferrari, which used to be difficult to find. And you, you can tell I like it because of how much of the juice is gone. But now it's kind of readily available. Um, you can go on several different sites and you can find it. This is a beautiful bright scent. It's a bitter orange, citron, lemon, neroli, orange blossom, rosemary, um, Szechuan pepper, vetiver, amber, and patchouli. And this was a 2015 release, and uh, Ferrari's been doing some good stuff over there with their releases. They've uh, they've been that the fig, they have the fig one, the Neroli, the Bergamot. Uh, yeah, they they did a lot with that line, and it's man, all of them are home run hitters. You could uh, you could put another luxury house name on this and would spend three hundred dollars for it, and you would not be upset about it. I like that. It, like I say, all of these are summer, so they're not going to last long on your skin, probably six to seven hours. Well, except uh, this one's going to last. This one this one I got eight hours out of. We're going to talk about that one in just a minute. That's something special right there. Um, but the rest of these, like I said, you're going to get about six hours out of them, but none of them are really expensive other than the Louis Vuitton. None of them are really expensive, so... You can wear these, reapply, take a decant with you, reapply, 
you know, summertime, you're going to blast through your fragrances anyway. Because none of them rip very strong. But they leave good scent bubbles. And they draw people in. And you just reapply. Next fragrance is Sublime Cedar. This is a 2019 release over there from Zara. I like what Zara has been doing. I think I'm going to do a video talking about just Zara fragrances. But see, the only thing with Zara is a lot of times they rename these fragrances or they discontinue it and they rename it or they have three or four fragrances that have the same scent. But, uh, you know, Al Hermain does that and... Um, it's another clone house that does that. Uh, Armoff. Armoff and Al Hermain do the same thing, so I'm not going to knock them for that. But this right here is a casual or office fragrance, in my opinion. This right here, to me, just smells like white button-down shirt to me. Like you wear a white button-down with some jeans. Or if you're in the office and you have a white button-down and some slacks or some khakis, that's what this smells like to me. This right here, and what I like about it, it's simple. This is an oriental woody, it's an amber woody fragrance, amber woody fragrance from 2019. And you've got the uh, pink peppercorn, cedar wood, and amber. Three simple, simple, very simple, but yet an elegant fragrance still. And like I said, this is, you know, you can get away with this at work or on a date night. You know, I don't think this would work as a club fragrance and it's definitely not going to be considered a panty dropper. This is for somebody you already seen. And you go out and so, you know it's going to be non-offensive but still a very, very good fragrance in my personal opinion. So you should have that. If you like Zara fragrance, and this ain't going to break the bank either. This was on the high end for me as a Zara fragrance, and I think it was like, I think I spent 25 bucks on this. The average Zara fragrance is like 20 bucks, so $5 more, and this is a big bottle. Look at that. That is a big size bottle, so you're getting plenty of juice here, and you're not, you're not going to wear it all year long. You're not going to wear this all year long, so it's going to last you, unless you only, one of these people only owns one or two fragrances, but... You should have at least five to ten fragrances in your rotation, even if you're not a fragrance guy, just for variety. So if you got five or ten fragrances in your rotation, you're not gonna burn through this, and it will it will it will come in handy for what it's for. So definitely get that in your fragrance rotation. Look at the new vibes. I say the little baton for last. Oh, God, I like that. Next is Vanilla Vibes. This, to me, I don't know how they made that beach sand smell. I don't know how they copied that, but this is basically a beach vacation in a bottle. This smells like sitting on the beach eating ice cream. If you ever been to... Um, you ever been to the little beach there? The, uh, I forgot what it's called. We went over in New Jersey, right there at the boardwalk where they have the beach and all the rides and stuff. Or if you go to California, uh, if you go to San Diego, you go on the beach. Or if you go, if you're in Texas here, you go to Galveston on the beach and you have a vanilla ice cream cone. That is what this smells like. This is uh, this is beautiful. This is a I forgot what year this was released, but. This is a unisex fragrance, first of all, by Juliet Has a Gun. It's a uni unisex fragrance, Vanilla Vibes. This, this could be your summer staple. It's salt, vanilla absolute, orchid, tonka. Y'all know how I feel about that tonka. That's sandalwood, musk, benzoin. This is a sweet, marine, salty, powdery vanilla, vanilla scent. And, you know, I, I love this. You know, I didn't get to wear it much, but like I said, that's because I have a lot of fragrances. But if you only have a few fragrances in your rotation, you should get that. I like how you can lift this by the top. Um, all of these, except for the Louis Vuitton, well, yeah, the Louis Vuitton because it's a magnetic cap. 
and definitely this one the top didn't even come off of you can lift these by the top you know a lot of fragrances i tell you don't lift by the top because it will drop and you would waste a lot of money because it will smash on the floor and you would have wasted your investment but hey man this vanilla vibes this is a good five six seven hour fragrance and it leaves a decent scent trail and you're not gonna smell like everybody else because not a lot of people are gonna be wearing this but i like the coloration of this it tells you exactly what you're getting the beach and the water the water and the beach that's what you're getting this is a beach fragrance so oh, it gives you it gives you uh thoughts of the beach it puts you in the mindset so this is a vacation in a bottle i love this now last but not least this is also a unisex fragrance this is louis vuitton sun song this is a citrusy white floral musky scent it's sweet but aromatic. I can't talk today. It's sweet and also animalic and it's soapy. Also, it's only four notes. It's citrus, orange blossom, oh, three notes, my bad. Orange blossom and musk. But I smell something else sweet in there. I can't put my finger on what that note is. And it's not listed in the notes. That's why I say it's four notes, but I don't know what that note is something sugary but this is also a good fragrance and what i like about the louis vuitton fragrances is you keep the bottle when you run out you take it back and they will refill this for 120 dollars so yeah this was it was under 300 but it was in the high twos because i got this at the louis vuitton in the uh, galleria here in dallas and uh I don't remember the exact price because I got this last year when it was cold. So I think they were running a little sale on it also. But man, this here. Now this one, lad, you can get 8 to 10 hours out of this, especially if you spray it on clothes. So this one is stronger than the rest of these. And this one projects. This one here is a beast. This projects. I like this. But with all that power and projection, it is not clawing. It is not overwhelming. And... You're not gonna um, you're not gonna piss anybody off. So this is my summer starting lineup, and this is you know it's not the only thing I'm gonna be wearing. Also, you know you're gonna wear your other ones that you know need and you don't need to really talk about like your Sauvages, of course, your Baccarat Rouge Five Forties, your Ventuses, most of your dual lineup. You know, of course, we're gonna wear those, but this is gonna be my starting lineup for the beginning of that heat and then whatever else comes out new and of course i'll i'll dumb reach for other stuff but these are going to be the starting lineup so i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you have any questions or you want to know about any other fragrance you want to know about any other fragrance lineup um also we're going to get back to giving the dating and relationship advice here soon i'm trying to work on another approach with that and trying to get a uh, lineup and a table built and and we'll you know we'll bounce ideas back and forth off each other and eventually it's going to get to the point where we'll be able to take uh phone calls and answer your calls so this is going to be something different it's going to be something new and mixed with some stuff you may have seen before but we're definitely going to bring you some heat and uh hopefully y'all enjoy it so man like share comment subscribe you got any questions for me like i said i respond to everybody in the comments it might take a minute but i'm going to get to every last single one of you uh also facebook and instagram quit the central bachelor you'll find me there uh you know get good good feedback on both platforms definitely on the instagram and uh like i said if you want to know anything hit me up i'm there for y'all